Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, and as you can tell by the sort of uh, Christmassy, holiday, festive music going on in the background there, yeah, we are approaching the holiday season here again. And I'm recording this actually on Friday the 13th here, believe it or not, in December. And earlier today, I... <laughs> I got home, I did my sort of daily check just to see what was on sale on Steam and whatnot, and uh, see what the daily deal was, see what else was going on on Steam. And under new releases, the first thing that was in the list was <laughs> more Viscera Cleanup Detail Santa's Rampage. And that's what we got going on here for today's uh, interesting holiday low vision spotlight so a little more viscera cleanup detail for you here I did not even know that this was in development let alone that it was coming out uh, just as surprised as you guys are um, but like I said just this whole viscera cleanup detail thing just amuses me and I like seeing all the weird little spin-offs that they're seeming to create now like uh, you saw my original beta video early on in the channel maybe and fairly recently, I also covered the Viscera Cleanup Detail Shadow Warrior version, which was also quite good. Um, so let's just get into it here, and we'll just uh, talk more about it along the way. So we have our main menu here. We have Viscera Cleanup Detail, uh, Santa's Rampage, our main menu. Start work. Host and join. Yes. Uh, looks like he started to implement multiplayer into this, so I definitely smell a possibly another co-op video or two in the near future. I'm thinking I'll probably, uh, I will be around for the holidays, so I will probably upload these videos right around or on Christmas for you guys. Like I said, just a nice little holiday video for you, albeit a little sick and twisted, but there you go. Uh, maybe I'll get some uh, co-op content with, for you guys with Jawbreaker here. We'll see. And we got options and quit. So let's just start work. Let's get into it here and see what horrors await and what happened to Santa's workshop. So we got another intro screen here. Text is a little small. Um... Especially in the middle there, the contrast is a little tough to read, but I'll let you guys kind of try to read that a little bit for you. Um, I'll read it later. So yeah, I saw this. It's on sale for like, it was on sale, I think it was like 20% off, but it was like 2 bucks. I think it was uh, maybe 250 or something not on sale. So it's a cheap game. Um, let me turn up my volume here a little bit, my headphones. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I just, I saw it there, and it was so cheap anyway that I just had to check it out. So we start pretty familiar territory. We got our mop. We have our gloves. And we have this sort of uh, filth finder sniffer thing um, that tells us where our dirt is and blood and all that other viscera. Although I really don't need a detector now because I can already see tons of it. Uh, with little trouble and here is our station just like in the shadow warrior version um, we have our little checkout machine or little time clock thing um, where we can uh, once we're done uh, punch out I've never actually completed one of these games fully so I would like to see what happens like if there's a little cutscene or if there's a you know something weird that happens at the end or whatnot but uh, yeah let's go into the workshop proper and see what in the heck has gone on. So I'm not going to start really cleaning much right away. Get rid of a few of these little footprints because they'll be quick to mop. But I kind of just want to explore. Well, you know, why am I mopping? Because if I track it around, it won't matter anyway. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I just want to see what how big this area is and what is actually in this little workshop. So we got a little boom box here again, just like in the Shadow Warrior one, except we got some weird festive music. And I can't turn it off. I'll let it play a little longer, and then I think I'll throw it in the fire just to get rid of it. 
Um, oh boy. So we got some elves laying broken and dead at the foot of the stairs. That looks really nice. Uh, got a whole bunch of presents on the table. That's some pretty cool shiny looking. I like that little shiny package there. That's uh, pretty cool looking wrapping paper. Uh, I love the fact that it looks like we've got our fireplace is our furnace, so we don't actually have a furnace this time. Um, okay, there we've got one of the... looks like this is one of our bucket dispensers. Yep. Grab the bucket. Set you down for later. And let's see what we got over here. More presents, a whole lot more blood and jibs. And oh dear lord, something... Go chuck him in the fire. Sorry, elf. But you gotta go. Huh. They, they have little bells on them and everything. That's funny and wrong. And yeah. So we got a little bookshelf over here. And what do we got off in the side room here? A little more stuff over there. Some bottles. Let's see, can I read those? Let's see. Um. Let's see. Oh, eggnog. Okay, that works. Getting the holiday spirit. A little eggnog. All right. Ooh, but I have a feeling this ain't no eggnog. What do we got here? Let's see. Ah, no! Tipped it over. <laughs> Looks like liquor bottles to me. Got some notes here. Can I read these? What's your, is there a way to zoom in on them? Because I can't. there's no way I'm going to be able to read those, unfortunately. Let's see. Um... Oh, there's another paper there. So, yeah, it looks like there. Maybe these will. Maybe these. Uh, maybe there's like some clues as to why this whole rampage occurred in the first place. Except, unfortunately, I am unable to read that. Well, a because it seems upside down now. But, ooh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Ho oh, ho oh, ho. Oh. Dynamite? Oh, please tell me I can play with this. Yes. So if I bring it over the fireplace, and if I go over there and run like hell after I light it, I'm going to try it. Oh, man, you know what? We're supposed to be cleaning this, but I can't resist. It, they're already dead anyway. Okay. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Ah, run. Oh, shit, run. Oh, oh. Yes! Ooh! Uh-oh. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, that was so... That was definitely worth it. Well, let's chuck this in, because I tipped over my bucket when I was trying to run away. Uh, oh my. <laughs> yeah, I remember those presents that used to be there? Although, surprisingly, with the wrapping paper and everything... Uh, I find it funny that they weren't just disintegrated. I think there's more over there. Let's go have some more fun. Okay. Pick you up. Get. Oh man, this is fun. <laughs> okay, alright. We got another thing of dynamite. Alright. Now, I'm going to see if I can run a little bit better. Actually... Uh, no, that's gonna... <laughs> Running time. Are we getting any residual explosions, or is it all one? Well, it looks like that's it this time. But, oh my, do we have... <laughs> we have soot and ash and blood and chunks of wall uh yeah and a broken some kind of 
bucket dispenser or something over here that yeah I made it worse but hey if I gotta clean it up anyway I may as well have some fun first right okay put you back over there not that it matters Jeebus yeah there's uh oh man <laughs> this has gotten what else do we got over here Ooh, look it's like a little stick of dino oh these bop Ooh, are these Molotovs? Ooh, what fun can we have with these? Oh, now they're just toying you. It's like, yeah, we want you to clean, but... You know, you get people like me in here, it's like... Ah! Let, ah! That was not what I meant to do. I did not realize I was close enough and it lit. Shit. Okay, I wonder if I can... Do I have health, or can I die? What's that up in the upper left? Oh! Huh? Looks like... Um... I don't know. I bet I wonder if I can kill myself. I'm almost curious to find out. Alright, let's try another Molotov and not blow myself up this time. Uh, um... Okay, I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Alright, let's take a little bit of a... Let's see. Ooh! There we go. Sorry I missed that explosion, you guys. Wait, where did my... I lost my stick of dynamite. Cool, there's one left. Alright, let's grab this. So it's not going to be a monster explosion, but it'll still be... Yeah. Wreck it even more. Oh, man. Yeah, if I'm actually going to really clean this place, uh, I'm going to start a new game because uh, <laughs> I do want to go through Santa's Rampage and my <clears throat> interesting pyromaniac diversion. But hey, that was fun. So, as I so got distracted, as I found out what was in this side room over here, I was originally trying to see how big this workshop was and what was actually in it, so um, now that I've destroyed the main area quite sufficiently, let's uh, continue see what we got here. Ooh, that guy was skewered to the wall. Ew. Things did not end well for him. So we got a little balcony up here. We've got... Hmm, this looks different. Oh, hey. Oh, there's like a secret floor under here. Nah! What the hell? Was Santa trying to hide some of... I mean, not that you... You know, you can look just by looking around all the carnage around here, but what was he trying to hide some of his crimes or something? What were the... These guys are like on this floor... Subflooring thing here? Or his secret little... Maybe this is a secret compartment where he stored his booze. So Mrs. Claus didn't know it was there or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just reading more into it, but... You know, it, 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 yeah, you gotta... You know, there's no story in this. Or at least maybe there is in those documents. But you gotta run with it a little bit. Ooh. I wish... Oh, man. Yeah, you can pick them up, but you can't... I wish you could fire them. So you got these guns. That's one heck of a gun. Okay, so we have dynamite or TNT or whatever. We have uh, guns. We have Molotov cocktails. We have knives skewering elves to the wall. <coughs> Jesus, man, how many types of guns do you need? Holy crap, Santa. Um, just pile up his guns in a corner here. Got some presents, some... <laughs> Another elf head. <coughs> I love that they have, like, physics. Like, when you pick up the arms and stuff, or, like, you pick up some of the, like, legs or arms or body parts and stuff, you can shake them around and they just, like, they wiggle. They actually have physics, which is kind of funny and disturbing at the same time. 
It's just so weird. Uh, okay, and we got another elf. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Sorry, dude. I'll clean you up later. Uh, oh, geez, another one. Poor guy back here. Let's put you on your buddy over here. Pile you guys up. Big old present. Oh, some shells on the ground again. Man, things did not go well here. There's a lot of cleaning to do. I still like this little... He tried to bury a couple of the bodies. I'm not quite sure what to infer from that. But, you know, he really didn't take care to hide any of his other handiwork, so... Yeah, so we got... Oh, wait, that was... Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, damn, yeah, look at these knives, man. Come here. Pick up the... There we go. That's a pretty uh, sufficient blade to be skewered in. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> when I... S and they had a little bit of a trailer when I actually went to see... Or when I saw this on the Steam page. And I watched a little bit of it. But as soon as I saw the Santa's Rampage subtitle for this... You know, new Viscera Cleanup Detail spin-off. I it immediately thought of... There is a song by Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic. I'm sure you guys are at least somewhat familiar with him by now. I think Weird Al is awesome. But I believe it was on the Bad Hair Day album. He had most of his songs, you know, are parodies and stuff. But there was one, um, he's had, he does have a few originals. And one of his better ones, I think, one of the ones that I thought was really catchy. He has a song, the last one on the album, called... The Night Santa Went Crazy. And if I can find a link to it or something on YouTube or whatever, um, I will link to it, try to remember to link to it in my, uh, in the description down below when I do upload this, because <laughs> I immediately thought, as I was watching this trailer, that I thought immediately of that song, because he's talking about stuff like this, you know, there's part of it where he's talking about, uh, you know, he came to the North Pole, or he came to the workshop covered with ammo and cheap whiskey on his breath, and, you know, later on he's talking about, like, barbecuing the reindeer with a flamethrower, and it's it's freaking hilarious. It's catchy, and it's funny, and, yeah, uh, definitely check it out if you haven't heard it before. The Night Santa Went Crazy by Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, now that I think, now that I'm thinking of that song, I have it in my head and I want to listen to it. Okay, so we went off the main room to this exploded wall here. We've got another little area of the workshop. I must say, like, I don't know if this is all of his workshop because, man, if this guy's, if this dude is making toys for everybody. This workshop is pretty small. I mean, they got to be working overtime, or they got some weird off-site warehouse or something for some gifts, because this place isn't really all that big. What the hell? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that's a pretty small room there. Ooh, what do we got down here? Uh, stairs. Oh, the reindeer antler. Reindeer antlers. <laughs> yeah, I think Santa's deliveries are going to be a little late this year, guys, or boys and girls, because Santa's reindeer look like they've seen better days. So I found some antlers for one of them. We got a dead elf here, or a torso. We got a, a lower body. Ooh. Okay, that's disturbing. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, more dead elves with a gun. 
Maybe that was Santa's, or maybe he found a gun and tried to shoot back and still didn't make it. Poor guy. What do we have here? Uh, trying to piece together the crime, you know? Ooh. Is that another piece of dynamite? It is. I'll play with you in a minute. Ooh, another big dynamite. Yay. I can end the video with another explosion or two. Oh. Another deer antler. And chunks of reindeer torso gibbs stuff. Ew. Yeah, that did not go well for man. Yeah, that reindeer's definitely dead. Oh, we got here. We got a bucket with heads and a bunch of other... Yeah, that did not end well either. We got... Let's see. I just want to see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight reindeer. So... Yeah, the eight stalls. Okay, well, huh. looks like all eight reindeer are totally dead. Maybe these guys were trying to flee. This guy, yeah, um, the door is completely just wrecked with blood. And it looks like that is uh, the workshop, or at least the part of it that's in this game anyway. Um... It seems like a fairly small area, but I mean, just you look at the carnage and just, you know, having to pick everything up individually and keep cleaning the mop with the blood. I mean, I showed you some of the mechanics. Um, if you haven't watched any of my earlier Viscera cleanup detail videos, I can give you a, like a quick overview here of how things work now that I've given you the tour of this uh, heinous, crazy thing that's just happened. Where is that dynamite? Yeah, i got to play with some dynamite first, though. So I'm going to go set these up on the table. And I'll show you some of the mechanics, and then we'll end with me trying to uh, make some shit blow up. Because why not? Let me go grab... Uh, kind of blends in there, doesn't it? Go grab this piece up here. Tracking the blood all around. All right. You guys are on the table. So I've already bloodied my mop because I did try to clean up some footprints. So first thing you really want to do is, because you're always walking back and forth to the fire to throw stuff in, in there and dispose of it. So we're really going to want to clean up around the fireplace first. Let's grab a bucket. Try not to spill it this time. Okay, well, this looks relatively clean, except for that poor dude in the corner. So, we will rinse that. Wow. There are a lot of bloody... F oh, jeez, okay, we already... Get... Like I said, I will talk to Jawbreaker. Uh, I think I'm going to... Because it's so cheap anyway. I'm like, we, we have to try the co-op of this. Um, I'll gift him this game and uh, see if we can't record a co-op video or two. Maybe we'll try to complete one of these Viscera Cleanup details here. Oh my god. It's just walking back and forth. It's so much garbage. There's so much blood. I know it didn't help me tracking it around and all, but... Got some soot, and we're already filthy again. And, yep, eventually your bucket gets so dirty that you gotta get a new one. I'll throw that in the fire, but first I wanna at least get to the fire so it's like I can actually get to it without tracking bloody footprints everywhere. Okay. Get. Get some of this blood and soot from all all these. Oh man, that that explosion stuff that just wrecks your mop in no time. I don't think there were explosives in the earlier versions that I remember. Because the Shadow Warrior version was mainly like swords and throwing stars and stuff like that. So it really wasn't like 
you know, guns. Well, there were some guns in there, I guess, but there wasn't... There wasn't, like, dynamite, and <laughs> I still think that's pretty funny. Machine guns, dynamite, Molotov cocktails. Santa's not fucking around, man. He's, uh, serious business, apparently. Alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Hey, how about... Oh, man. How about that? I can actually see floor. Okay. Let's get this here. Call it good. And we'll go like that. Yeah. Fine. I'm going to make an explosion anyway. So, like I said, I cleaned up in there. If I were doing this for real, what I would do then is you just start grabbing stuff. I don't know why X is so weird there. But you put them in... Why is... Oh, whatever. But yeah, I mean, you start picking up all the corpses and all the body parts and all the junk. Um, <laughs> and you put them... Normally there's an incinerator somewhere, but like I said, this time we're just using Santa's uh, fireplace here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good mopping that up did. I already got it all bloody again. Jeebus. And that's just flickering and glitching. Disappearing. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so... Grab this poor part of a guy over here. Throw him in. Okay. Lose the other half, or something. But yeah, I mean, that's a basic... Uh, basic idea of how to play Viscera Cleanup Detail, uh, if you haven't seen the other videos. The one thing that I haven't seen, really, is I have not seen... Like, they usually have these yellow buckets, these big square buckets, like, where you can put, like, a lot, bunch of small... Like, so you don't have to, you know, especially if you're dealing with a lot of small objects, like, you know, in the other game it was throwing stars, or people's heads, or small body parts, or gib jibs, or whatever... You could put them all in this um, big yellow container and then throw them in the incinerator to make it faster. Um, that said, I don't know, the mechanics of that... <laughs> carrying the containers like that se just seems really glitchy. And it's something that I really, really hope they improve because... You know, you get it all loaded up and you think, okay, good, I saved myself some time. You make a wrong little angle with when you're trying to look around and see around it, and you're trying to walk, and you inadvertently dump the whole damn thing around on the ground again and make an even bigger mess. So I just have been kind of saying when I've been playing so far, screw the buckets for the most part, or don't fill them up very high, because the physics will just go absolutely insane and make life difficult for you. So that is... Viscera cleanup detail. I think what we'll do. Oh man, I should have piled up a whole bunch of. Uh, maybe what I'll do. Let's see. Here's what we'll do. We'll take this big present here. I'm going to put a whole bunch of stuff right near the fireplace. Because you know what I'm going to do. We are going to put a whole bunch of stuff close by. Because remember, we got all that dynamite on the table. So we're going to put a pile of stuff right near the fireplace so it's easier to make sure that... Yeah, throw a couple dead bodies in there too. Why not? Grab this poor soul over here. Or part of him, anyway. Plop. Uh, it just has this right, just nasty sounding, <laughs> nasty sounding, like they got the body part sound effects down, down pat, just like this ooey, gooey, meaty, chunky sound effects, man. It's, it's kind of gross, not going to lie. Santa's hat, 
Mmm. Let's just go grab some more presents real quick. And then we will see how much things get scattered. And maybe, you know what, since I'm not really going to finish this anyway, maybe I'll just stand right near it. And I wonder if I can actually kill myself with the explosion. And if I can, what actually happens? Like, do I just respawn? And if I respawn, do I... Does my progress reset then? You know, what happen, What happens to all that? So... I'm kind of curious. I'm sure some of you are too. So I think we got a we got a pretty good uh, heaping over there. I mean, I could keep doing it, but nah, for the purposes of this, let's just grab the dynamite and drop it. And I'm just gonna stand here and enjoy the show. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Blood everywhere, and I am part of it. Yeah. Okay, so you get a new little one of these warnings. And... Ooh. Nope, it looks like you just respawn as another janitor. So that... You know, the story goes, this first janitor guy, he came into the workshop and said, Oh, dear Jesus, I don't want to clean up all this mess. And he found some dynamite in the corner, in the side office there, with some eggnog and some alcohol, and said, Fuck it. Uh, I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. And, uh, yeah, so he killed himself. Uh, and now the next janitor in line must clean up even more of a massacre. So, yeah, with that strange interpretation, uh, we'll end it here. Um, this has been the surprise game, uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail, Santa's Rampage, and maybe, like I said, you never know, maybe I'll get a co-op video with Jawbreaker or something coming up here too. But, uh, yeah, happy holidays, and hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird, twisted game, and see you guys again later.